sure you head on here. Tell like you should behind me. So essentially, um, when you're walk also walking on the street, this is another pro tip. You see this is a sidewalk. Stay on this side of the street. And when you're walking, and then you see people lined up this way, then you can just shoot this way. Or just wait for people. Wait for people walking this way. And when they're about to cross, take a shit head on. So yeah, you can see this is actually a pretty nice background because there's nice blue. And you know, I'm shooting this super wide on a GoPro, so it's actually doesn't show you the proper frame. But in reality, from what I see on my 24 millimeter lens, the viewfinder line is about here. So yeah, like a good way to shoot street photography is just they call this the fishing technique. Wait for people to walk on by and you try to time it ideally their head is here here or here you don't really know what the best shot is going to be until somebody walks into the frame so sometimes you see people coming out of restaurants you shoot head on keep shooting until people notice you gonna shoot a layer get about to enter the scene that's pretty good. He turned his head down. Bicycle. Time there. Some people walking this way. Nice yellow background. So this is actually a nice background as seen here too because it's just this nice yellow background. But sometimes the problem is that you're shooting, there's no one really walking the streets. I mean, ideally these people here would cross. Okay, this guy's about to cross here. <coughs> and you have to be a little bit lucky because you need the right person, you need the right timing, and also you need the right people. So a lot of street photography is of course luck because you know what's gonna be lucky. Head on. So you can see when even when you're shooting, you kinda need to walk and curve around people if you want to make a good shot. Should head on. You see how I walked up into this spot here. Get the good shot. Oh man, such a beautiful day in Kyoto. Ooh, favorite Mazda Miata back there. Pretty sweet ride. I'm gonna zoom nice and close in there. Also, you can see here, if I want to take a photo of this thing on a bike, walk in front of her, like here. Yeah, so essentially know that when you're shooting street photography, treat yourself like a ballerina meets a boxer in the streets. You have to just be nimble-footed, walk around, and remember that street photography, it's a combination of two things. It's a position. So, you know, where are you standing or walking or moving in respect to other people in the streets? So what's your position compared to other people? And at what moment uh, do you hit the shutter? And also know that street photography, 
a lot of it is luck and when I say luck I mean obviously the more you shoot the luckier you're gonna get but you could be the most skilled talented street photographer in the world but unless you know the person looks the way you want them to look they're wearing the outfit they want you want them to look they have a certain expression on their face that you like a certain hand gesture also if the background's good or if the lighting is good these are things that you don't really have control over so just know that in street photography just put your best effort and just keep trying and don't be discouraged if you don't get the shot stay bold you got this